Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open another Chaos Mystery Box. This is the special MTG Unpacked Chaos Jackalope tier we have in the Patreon. And the lucky patron today is Eric Polanco. So he wanted to be hooked up with one of these MTG Unpacked Mystery Boxes. So let's get into this without further ado. If we get a 1 to 3, he'll get this one. Or 4 to 6, he'll get the second one. Good luck, sir. And we got a one. Okay, so he gets first box here. And to do the pack blessings today, I have Liliana and Gideon. Hopefully extra blessings will get us the crazy pulls. So let's get stuck into this. Let's see what we can pull today. And I know exactly what's in these boxes as far as packs go and foils, but I have no idea of the contents of the cards, so hopefully we can get some crazy pulls. We'll start off with a Ultimate Masters Core Set 2019 Eldritch Moon, a nice foil. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Magic Origins, get two of those, and a 2014 Core Set. Okay, so let's do the pack blessings, and if you're not familiar with the pack blessings, that is how we get the crazy pulls on this channel, and I swear, sometimes, now and then, occasionally, it even works. Alright, so let's do it like this. Okay, and we'll take a look at the foil here. Let's take it out of its sleeve. Get a closer look at this beautiful foiling, and these guys are going to be staring at the camera unless I move them out of the way. Okay, so we have Liliana of the Dark Realm. So this is a Planeswalker Liliana from M14. Three loyalty for four mana. Finally got it in focus. Her plus one is search a library for a swamp card, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your library. Her minus three is target creature gets plus X, plus X or minus X, minus X until end of turn where X is the number of swamps you control, and minus six ultimate is you get an emblem with swamps you control, have tap, add four swamps to your mana pool. Craziness, and look at that incredible foiling there. Very cool. So we'll pop that back in here, and if you have not seen the other videos in this series of Chaos Mystery Boxes themed on Liliana, I'll leave a Link in the corner there, so you can check out the playlist for that. Okay, let's get cracking with Magic Origins. Good luck, Eric. We start off here with Celestial Flare. And I think that playmat might be a bit too busy as well for the focusing to know what to do. Dark Dabbling. Infectious Bloodlust. Farika's Disciple. Disperse, Suppression Bonds, Veteran's Sidearm, Fire Fiend Elemental, Undead Servant Zombie, that's not creepy at all, Scrap Skin Drake, Uncommons we have, Draga Invocation, Knightly Valor, Malakir Cullblade, Vampire Warrior, and rare is Exquisite Firecraft, and I would love to see that in foil, that'd be pretty cool. Sorcery for three, Exquisite Firecraft deals four damage to target creature or player, and it has Spell Mastery. So if there are two or more instant and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, Exquisite Firecraft can't be countered by spells or abilities. Alright, we'll pop that over there, and a forest... And an ad for Magic Jewels. Have you played Magic Jewels back in the day? What did you think? Personally, I think Arena is much better, but I did get my early start on Jewels, so really enjoyed that when it was out. Okay, next we have M19, Knight of the Tusk, Gearsmith Prodigy, Catalyst Elemental. I'm having the Trouble these newer sets. There's something about the cards sticking together. Talons of Wildwood, Duress, Take Vengeance, Root Snare, Electrify, Walking Corpse, Snapping Drake, and for the uncommons we have a Gift of Paradise, Brawlbash Ogre. Surge Mare, and the rare is a Mythic! Yes, it's Palladium or Zaruna. 
Legendary Creature Elder Dragon 664, 6 mana has Flying, Vigilance and Trample. Palladium or Zaruna has Hexproof if it hasn't dealt damage yet. There we go, very cool artwork on that one. And a Mountain and a Dragon token. Alright, moving right along. 2014 core set, we got Garuk on the cover there. Maybe we should have had him do the uh, pack blessings as well, but maybe Gideon will bring home the bacon here. Okay, next pack we have Corpse Hauler. Cyclops Tyrant. Divination. Plummet. Giant Spider. Armored Cancrix. That is supposed to be a crab. Holy moly. Nightwing Shade, Charging Griffin, Disperse, Canyon Minotaur, Uncommons we have Stuff the Wild Magus, Windstorm, Dragon Egg, and the rare is Domestication. Haha, <laughs> look at that, we got a Goblin. Enchantment Aura, 4-4, four, four. Enchant Creature, you control Enchanted Creature at the beginning of your end step. If Enchanted Creature's power is four or greater sacrifice domestication. Okay, so you can only really enchant the lower end creatures, otherwise you only get them for a turn. That's pretty cool. And a swamp and Magic 2014. There's another one. Did you play Magic 2014 back in the day? I think I have that in my uh, Steam collection, although I didn't play it that much. All right, next. What have we got here? Another Magic Origins. We have a Charging Griffin. If we can ever not focus on Chandra over there. Macabre Waltz. And this is quite disturbing artwork. Act of Treason. Celestial Flare. Timberpat Wolf. Stratus Walk. Return Centaur, Wild Instincts, Guardian Automaton, Claustrophobia, Uncommons we have Patron of the Valiant, that's pretty cool, nice angel artwork there, Sylvan Messenger, Turn to Frog, and the rare is Dwinnen Guiltleaf Dian, Legendary Creature Elf Warrior 3 4 for 4 mana. Has Reach, other elf creatures you control get plus one plus one, and whenever Dwinnen Guiltleaf Dian attacks, you gain one life for each attacking elf you control. Alrighty, and a mountain and a goblin token. There we are, we're all about the goblins here on MTG Unpacked, as you may have noticed. Okay, next we have Eldritch Moon. What are we going to get here? What juicy goodness? Maybe we'll pull a lily out of this one. That would be fantastic. We have Boon of Emrakul. Focus, please. Spring Sage Ritual. Tattered Haunter. Gavany Unhallowed. Bloodbriar. Thraben Standard Bearer. Contingency Plan. Thermo Alchemist. Fiend Binder. Uncommons we have Nebelgast Herald. Geist of the Archives. Markov Crusader. What is this Vampire Knight? That's pretty cool. And the rare is Oath of Liliana. There she is. Legendary enchantment for three. When Oath of Liliana enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature. At the beginning of each end step, if a Planeswalker enters the battlefield under your control this turn, put a 2-2 black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. I'll keep watch. Happy now? That sounds about right. And a flip card here is a Shrill Howler flips into a Howling Chorus. Eldrazi Werewolf, a checklist, and an Eldrazi Horror! Look at that. Who's a fan of the Eldrazi? They should bring them back, I swear. Okay, final pack here. Ultimate Masters, like always. Let's hope we can get the crazy pulls here. We've had some good stuff from these so far, but I would like to see something even better. 
Okay, so we're going to slow roll it. We'll put that there. Foil, rare, uncommons. Let's check. Yep, I think we got it. Okay, so the commons we have Think Twice. Let's move that card out of the way. It seems to want to focus on that. Here's the focus, please. Think Twice. Reckless Worm. Slum Reaper. Hooting Mandrels. That'll be us. That'll be Eric and I. I'll be maybe this guy back here. That'll be Eric if we get something crazy here. Death Denied. Sanitarium Skeleton. That's the uh, case where we get hosed, I think. Mammoth Umbra. Thermo Alchemist. Again. Double Cleave. Heliod's Pilgrim. And that is it for the commons. Uncommons. So let's dig into it. We have Shirai Shizo's Caretaker. Some cool artwork on that one. Ghana the Blood Flame. And Iridescent Drake. Alright, and then we saw this earlier. We had the Soldier Token. Set that aside. And the foil here is a Mad Prophet. Creature Human Shaman 2-2 two -two for 4 mana. Here's haste, tap, discard a card, and you get to draw a card. There he is. Hop him over there. And finally, the rare. What's going to be? It is Micaeus the Unhallowed Mythic. Not bad. Legendary creature, zombie cleric, 5-5, five, five, 4, 6 mana with intimidate. Whenever a human deals damage to you, destroy it. Other non-human creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1. And have Undying, so when a creature with Undying dies, if it had no plus one plus one counters on it, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a plus one plus one counter on it. Always good to get a Mythic. There we go. So actually his foil here was a Mythic as well, so that's pretty good. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.